Hey y'all, so I'm going to get some hair. Um, my name is D. I kind of got that name doing hair. I was a hairstylist for over 22 years. Um, and I wanted to come to Atlanta to be a platform artist. And upon wanting to be a platform artist, I knew I wanted a stage name. I didn't want to be Dawn. I didn't want to be that. I knew I wanted a stage name. So I don't I don't remember how exactly I got Miss D because I know a lot of Miss D's. But my name is Miss D. They call me Miss D. So check it out. I am on my way to get some hair to do my hair. Um, this is after Thanksgiving. My birthday is in a few days. Not even a few days, probably a week. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. But I just want to, you know, have something um, that I can wear. And that's what hairstylists do. We always change in our hair, you know. But um, one of the things that I just, I just got to talk about it. Dating in Atlanta. Let me, let me tell y'all, man. I came here with a man that I was dating. And I remember when I first came, it was like 2001. And I was working little odd jobs because, you know, I was afraid to work in a salon without my license. And I had my license when I moved here, but I was afraid to work without my license because, you know, I don't know anybody here. And, you know, back home, you know, that was the talk of town. If, you know, State Board came in the shop and, and, and you know, find you, you know, if State Board come in the shop and find you because you got somebody that's not licensed, your shop might get shut down. So I was working a few odd jobs and I will never forget I was working at a Verizon store, not Verizon, not the store, but I was working in a call center and I met two ladies and man, they were so sweet. One, she was like, <coughs> excuse me, she was in her thirties and the other lady, she was in her fifties and you know, we worked together for a couple of days and then one day we just started talking and they were like, so are you married? And I was like, no, I came, you know, with my boyfriend, you know, we lived together. And I'll never forget, the older lady was like, oh, be careful. And I just looked at her. And then the younger girl was like, yeah, girl. And I was like, so it was lunchtime, you know, we talking. And um, I asked, I said, so what does that mean? And I said, are y'all married? And the older lady said, Listen, the women here, they don't care if you marry. They don't they don't care. They gonna they don't care. And then the younger girl was like, Yeah, I moved here with my husband and we're divorced. And the older lady said the same thing. She said, I moved here with my husband and we're not together. And I was like, dang. And I was like, why is that? And it was like, well, the older lady was like, to be honest, my my husband got attention that he wasn't used to getting, and he didn't know how to handle it. And the older, the younger girl was like, my husband, he dogged me out. He just didn't even care no more. He did all kind of stuff in my face. And I remember I left that night for work. I left from work that night. I was like, damn. I was nervous. Like that that kind of messed with me because I was like, what? should I expect and you know I'm from the country so being a country girl <coughs> I didn't know what to expect I didn't know what I was up against in my mind I was like you know should I be worried or should I you know just ignore it you know I'm young I'm impressionable I'm like 27 at the time, you know, that's not young now when you look at it, but being from a low country town and you looking at Atlanta almost like New York, yeah, you're going to be intimidated. You're going to, you're not going to listen to everything you hear, but you're going to keep in mind and, you know, I'm just going to keep it 100. Like when I moved here, my ex, 
he pretty much gave me a whole skit skid of spell. I don't even know how to pronounce. I don't even know what word to use for it. But he pretty much told me, you know, what was here from his past experience. Drugs. You know, people move fast here. You know, it was like he was giving me a pep talk. And the funny thing about it, the honest thing about it, we didn't even live together that long. So we were kind of still getting to know each other when we moved here. We were just like two young people that wanted something different. So, you know, that was my first time that, you know, somebody told me, you know, hey, you got a man, you better hold him like you ain't got no sense. You better hold on to that man because da da da. And I'm, I'm telling you, it did mess with me. Um, but I stayed focused. I pretty much told myself, you know, nobody's going to take nothing away from me that belonged to me. And that was my first experience, probably about a month in after living here. And that's what happened when I first moved to Atlanta, how women warned me how the women are here dating in Atlanta.